Well, today I'm snagging fish, or more appropriately, the fish are snagging me. See how that's all happy? Come on, because I'm taking you bastard sailing. Hey guys, nice lazy sail back to the dock and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Here it is. I don't want to break down to the motor. I want to come in all the way on the sail. And I got time. Maybe. <laughs> There's like no air out here. I'm amazed this thing sails with just a little air. thinking we lost all our wind and the motor on up there. So we get in before mosquito hour. Let's lock her down here. Now I couldn't see it because I was looking directly into the sun but just as I dropped the motor in gear I collected the fishing line up on the sail up on the foresail several feet above the water line. I'm sailing well off the fishing docks, and why a line is six feet above the water hang up into my sails is beyond me. And how it got between the shrouds and the mast on both sides, and then ran out behind me, it, it, it's, it's physically impossible. I don't know how it did it. That line ran from all over the boat like a spider web. Now there's a good sized catfish on the line, and you see as I, uh, Throttle up here, it gets pulled up to the boat. And uh, I had no idea it was there. You can see the lines well up into the rigging, so the fish just water skied up to the boat. As the line off the other side of the boat was slowly being pulled back by what I assume is a fishing pole on the bottom of the river now. And this is where I first noticed the fishing line. See, now that I've grabbed the line, I'm taking the pressure off it. The poor fish is slowly going back behind me, water skiing away. I had no idea. As I pulled the line in on one side, it was letting the line out on the other. Poor guy got farther and farther away, just skipping across the top of the water. Eventually gave up on the uh, the fishing pole end of the line, cut it, and now I'm reeling up the other part of the line so it doesn't hang up in the motor. You can see I had to use the boat hook to get the line. It was well up, well up on the on the sail there. I cut the line and was just going to let it go, but I felt all the weight on it and was curious, decided to reel it in for a little bit. Which just made the poor fish skip across the water harder. You can see him coming up behind me there slowly, and I still have no idea that I'm dealing with a fish. In fact, I was thinking that maybe this was the fishing pole site and I was going to pull up a fishing pole if nothing else. He 
He was just hooked at the lip. It wasn't too bad, so I was easily able to set him free to go tell the tale. It took a good 20 minutes back at dock, winding up fishing line, and there's still some wrapped around the boat. I was lucky enough not to get any in my propeller, and uh, I just finished up all the fishing line cleanup before my next sail. I'd love to hear the story the fish told his buddies when he got back. So I was able to dock back at my cabin just in time to feed all the mosquitoes and call it a night. So thanks for crewing today, and uh, hopefully you'll come sailing with me again. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, all the blah, 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 and uh, let's go sailing.